Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I instantly know this one. Yep. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most forward show on the internet. My name is Riley Zondrup, by my backwards co-host, Dignan. <laughs> Today we're accidentally screenshotting the alarm clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is Guess, Guess the, the music, music Video from One Random Frame. Here's how this one's gonna work. We're gonna see one frame from a music video and have to guess what music video it is. One point for each one to get right. Me versus Diggy versus you. Spencer from Columbus, Ohio. Shout out Victoria's Secret. Don't forget guys, like and subscribe, follow us on Patreon, and we got a cameo down in the description if you want a little personalized message from us. We also have a big announcement to make. Big, big, big. The, the, the lineup for our June 4th show in Detroit, Michigan is finally here. Let's tell them, Riley. Give me a little. <laughs> We've got Snow Strippers, Lil Rosie, Chase Plato. Quickly Quickly, White Rose Moxie, and headlining, Lil Shorty Scott. I really want to take a pic with Cardi B inside my cardigan. <laughs> tickets are on sale right now, link is in the description. VIP's already sold out, so get your tickets today. We also have another special announcement coming about the show, a special guest. Stay tuned for that. First one. All right, so we've got a screenshot of a kid looking at two dolls. Someone's palming newborns like basketballs in front of this child. Yeah, I hope they're dolls. I don't, for whatever <laughs> reason. I like when someone really manhandles an infant. Oh, right. It's funny. You know what's really funny about music videos? Before there was YouTube, you just had to hope it'd get played on TV. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody would see it otherwise. Yeah. Like maybe the local news or like MTV would be like, you'd be shooting for the stars there. But That's it. People would spend all this money to have their music video be seen by no one. Literally. The first videos were like the 70s. Yep. <laughs> and until 2004, 2006? It was just television. It's just TV. Three, two, one. N95. That's what I put. It is N95 by Kendrick Lamar. Let's yes. go. Digman loves masks. <laughs> Especially ones that hide my identity. Oh, I'm done with the sensitive, taking it personal, done with the black and the white, the wrong and the right, you hoping for change. <laughs> <laughs> cool, let's get to the next one here. Oh my gosh. So we've got some old weathered hands here. Look like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Hospital setting, weathered old hands. I get the idea that this artist is not an old person themselves, but were made to be old in the music video. That, that is the vibe that I'm getting. Well, yes. What old <laughs> artist is dropping music? Like what artist with hands that old could even potentially drop music? Bob Dylan? Paul McCartney? Paul McCartney, but he's not that weathered due to Botox. <laughs> could be Eminem. Oh, he's ancient. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Out of Time by The Weeknd. But Super Gremlin, Kodak Black. It is Out of Time by The Weeknd. You do always now be doing that. that is wild. That's an, that's, hey. Put it there, champ. I haven't seen this music video, but it just made sense based on the title and the theme of the album, how he made himself old on the cover. Yeah. True. So that's the reason that I guessed it. You're a fucking da fuck damn genius. Little light you see in the distance. Soon you'll be healed, forgiven, and refreshed. Free like a video game. Wow, Jim Carrey. I'm not sure if the clip was there, but he's in the video at the end. Nice, shaking ass? Yeah. Jim Carrey shaking ass at the Jim end Jim Carrey of... twerks at the end of that music video. Jim Carrey is stripping in the video. Actually. Wow. That's cool. Kind of like James Blunt in the You're Beautiful music video. Absolutely, it takes a while, but I like a tease. And I saw your face in a crowded place. And, and I don't, don't know, know what to do. The shirt budget for that music video was insane. Yeah, <laughs> they were nice too. Nice shirts. <laughs> Haynes, I think. Oh. oh. So we've got a motorcycle and an S. <laughs> <laughs> now this looks very familiar. I've seen this music video, yes. but I don't know what it is. Looks like it's shot like from the spotlight of a cop chopper. Could be a ring light too. A ring light. Yeah. <laughs> the cops <laughs> under the ring light. <laughs> You get pulled over, they turn on a ring light on the car. <laughs> Put your hands outside the vehicle. Put the phone in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are under arrest. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Rockstar by Post Malone. I put First Class, Jack Harlow. This is First Class by Jack Harlow. Let's go. As soon as you said it, I knew it. Shoot. Let's go. Number one song in the country, at least when we're shooting this video. Yes. All right, that's sick. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. It spells glamorous on the road. That's sick. In time, too. Yeah. Like God. the O-U-S are closer together. <laughs> that's cool. Just had to figure out which speed to drive the bike. Oh, they did some math. Yeah, That literally. is actually sick. Yeah. yeah. Hey. <laughs> you gotta give credit where credit's due. That's an awesome video, Jack. We only seen that part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Smuggled anthrax through Amtrak. Shout out to Sam Thrax. Hate my mom's sister, cause my aunt's whack. Shout out to Jack Harlow for sampling that glam track. 
Someone stole my sheep. I need my lamb back. Damn. <laughs> See, I just kind of like live the life you rap about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah steal sheep, smuggle drugs, uh -huh. hang out with Jack Harlow, and I hate my family. And you rap about it. New jackass would have been better if they brought Bam back. <laughs> Next one. Ah. <laughs> I instantly know this one. Yeah. This I cannot stop watching this video. Music video of the year. It's so funny. It's the music video of the year. Director X needs to be locked up <laughs> <laughs> for making these goofy ass music videos. He's like in the in the production office and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need $5 million for this music <laughs> video. I got a, it's a little idea. I'm thinking <laughs> Game of Thrones. Let's do the first season's budget in four minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wait for you, my future. <laughs> Wait for you. Correct. Yes. <laughs> Grant's gotten lazy behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, the story of the toxic king. If you have not seen this music video, please <laughs> do yourself a favor. Feel like the treasure of the corn. I can hear your tears when they drop over the phone. Get mad at you. I've been in the field like the children of the corn. <laughs> I've been trying to get Pharrell to sign this magazine for me. Oh yeah? I just love his time signatures. <laughs> Next one. Oh, yes. Flying duo baffles locals. <laughs> Weather report, high of 77, low of 68. Pretty nice day. And breaking news, tip hotline, 4cm.co. Flying duo. You know this one? Yes, I do. You ass. I haven't even seen this music video yet, but I saw the trailer for it. Three, two, one. Doritos and Fritos by 100 Gex. I put The System by Tom McDonald. <laughs> Doritos and Fritos by 100 Gex. <laughs> oh yeah. So this music video is out? Yes. I didn't know it was even out. Yes. That's so cool. I'm excited for you to hear this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's get it. Is that better? Is yeah. that, you want me to be like the epitome of masculinity? Absolutely I do. <sighs> if you're gonna be toxic, you might as well be masculine. <laughs> <laughs> That's big fat fucking slap bass in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that bass sounds like it's this big. <laughs> yeah, what are they, Primus? Yeah. <laughs> that song is crazy. The lyrics would, would probably bother you, but... Really? They're, they're stupid. They're nonsensical. Ah, kind of like that new T-Pain song. I haven't heard it. You haven't heard that? No. Oh, he talks about spraying his semen on the back of someone like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. It's not. It seems like a real sellout move. He's like, eh, everybody's making stupid music. How about I make something? This song's more about eating Doritos and Fritos with Danny DeVito. It's kind oh, of that's that sort of nonsensical. That's you know? more playful. Yeah. Less about the semen spraying. Yes. And the Marvel Universe. All right, here we go. Huh. <laughs> I don't know about this one. Are these turrets on eagles? <laughs> what even is that? It's kind of beautiful. I wish I had this as a painting. Interesting symbols here, like two very distinct <clears throat> symbols of freedom. Guns and bald eagles. <laughs> yeah. It's what this country's founded on. Yes. You know what's really sad? Hmm. The bald eagles at any zoo. Yeah. I guess. They can't fly. They're like injured or something and then they're just there. No one goes to the zoo to see the bald eagles. I have an idea as an alternative. I feel like they should just put all those ones in the White House. Put the injured bald eagles in the White House? Yeah. That'd be cool, like different little cages in every room. They're just like, no, loose. Free. Yeah, loose. That free. sounds dangerous with someone as thin of skin as Joe Biden. You know what sounds more dangerous? Caging our American symbol of freedom, the bald eagle. That is a little dangerous. Seems a little dangerous to me. <laughs> a slippery sure. slope. Yeah, you're worried about Joe Biden. He, he has thin skin. He would be fine with a bald eagle. Not metaphorically either. Like it could just like rip if you scratched him. He's got secret service. They could just pop one of them if they have to. So now you want secret service to kill the bald eagle. <laughs> If they're gonna hurt our <laughs> beloved president, then yes. Okay. Three, two, one. I put Fake Woke by Tom McDonald. Hey, I put Rap Devil by MGK. This is Sub-Zero by Action Bronson. Oh. Really? He would have a crazy music video with some crazy shit going on. Yeah. It. I could have sworn Rap Devil had a moment where there were bald eagles with guns <laughs> on it. I'm pretty sure that one's just MGK digging a hole. Isn't it? Whoa. Which he seems to do every time he speaks publicly. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I'm crippled. Dog, it's been six years. I'm trying to get in contact with Pitbull. We got some business to get into. God, I haven't seen this video yet. Oh, that line is so funny. It's been six years. I've been trying to get in contact, contact with, with Pitbull. Pitbull. <laughs> Got some business we gotta get into. <laughs> kind of like a Mad Max Fury Road type vibe going on there. His music videos are always super outlandish, yeah. like magical, but kind of edited bad. Adult know? Swim content, yeah. pretty much. Acid ass. Adult <laughs> Swim. Yeah. Next one. Oh, geez, what the hell? We got like a collage, it looks like. Oh, yep, I know it. <clears throat> you do? Absolutely. Ah, I meant to bring this up to you the other day. I was walking into the gas station on Tuesday, uh -huh. and a guy stopped me outside of it, and he seemed to kind of 
a little bit out of it, but in kind of a wise way. Huh. And he was like, I have something to tell you, sir. And I said, oh, yeah. Your co-host, he's stealing money behind your back. <laughs> no. Yeah, do you have anything, no. you know anything about that? He definitely doesn't sound wise. He sound. I mean, listen, he sounded like a wizard. How did guy. he sound? He was like this. It was almost like he had some divine wisdom from the past. He didn't give you any details, did he? No, he just kind of he left that said, up for you to He actually poofed into a bunch of smoke. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Really? Well, he vaped a lot, and then he walked away, I think. <laughs> well, I don't think anybody's stealing money. I think it's like, it's not theft if I know your password. And I, I don't. Yeah. But if I did, it's not. It's like saying, I can't steal something from your house if I have all the keys. <laughs> that No, you can. If I copy all the keys off your ring, and then I have my own keys, it's not really stealing. It is stealing. Yeah. How? Because it's, you're taking something that's not yours. Your password is can't have peanuts, man. Six 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 nine nine nine. How Sorry, is that, that's not that obvious. Why is that so obvious? You can't have peanuts. What sixty nine's funny, and the devil number is also funny, and plus Juice World. It did, didn't seem like you wanted to keep people out. I can't believe you guessed that. It was my third guess. <laughs> Do you want to know my first two? Yes. <laughs> Prettiestmustache.com. Hello world, it's me, Riley. That's that was ridiculous, super long. I don't even think it would. Second, second guess. Honda Element, dude, super chillaxin, 420 blaze me. Okay, well, that one's super obvious. because <laughs> That I, was your old password. Yeah, it's like my old password. That was yeah. your Facebook password. Well, I'm not stealing, end of story, and you got to quit hallucinating at the gas station. Three, two, one. DMB. DMT. DMB. It's DMB by ASAP Rocky. <laughs> yes. I do love this music video. <laughs> DMB, still wish it stood for Dave Matthews Band, but we'll just keep it moving. All right, next one. Ah, Ooh. lips. Yep, lip gloss. My lip gloss is popping. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> What's up, internet? <laughs> Three, two, one. Amygdala, Blade and Echo. Put Positions, Ariana Grande. It is Amygdala by Blade and Echo 2K. <laughs> yep. It's not Positions. It's not. No, it's not Positions by Ariana. Very similar vibe. <laughs> we watched this music video together on our Patreon. I remember that. So join our Patreon if you want to see us react to this music video. <laughs> it's at a part that isn't even in the song. <laughs> Feels like a Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> Feels like an episode of Euphoria season one. The good season. <laughs> Next one, what's this? Big pile of black sand. Oh, I've seen this. Fucked up in the crib watching Family Dude. <laughs> Craig Meyer turned into a turtle. Why Craig Meyer turned into a turtle? <laughs> Fucked up in the crib watching Family Dude. <laughs> um, Actually, it shouldn't have been called South Park because it's in Colorado, which is located in the west of the United States. Is that funny? No. Oh, no? <laughs> uh-uh. It just seems weird that it's called South Park. I mean, that's the name of the town. Well, why? West and South are not opposites of one another. You can be Southwest. You can fly Southwest. <laughs> if you're rich. <laughs> Three, two, one. Put New Shapes by Charlie XCX. I put No Role Models, J. Cole. This is Self Care by Mac Miller. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. Just remember, too, self care doesn't always have to be relaxing. Sometimes self care is challenging yourself. Like, go to the gym. That's self care. Eat something healthy. Smoking a little bit of crack. A, like a tiny bit. <sighs> just to get you right. Eating a full tube of Carmex. Yes. Something like that. To clean you out. Yeah. <laughs> It'll clean you out. Absolutely. <laughs> Carmex will clean you out. Going to the car wash and begging to walk through. Yes. Instead of taking your car through. Yes. Because it would be interesting. It's just, yes. Like, who else does that? I do the same exact thing at the dry cleaners. Yes. Dry clean my body. Let me in there. I want to be starchy. Clean me up. <laughs> Steam my skin. Next one. What the hell is this? Same music video, just the sand's liquid in a jar now. Uh, black drink. That's weird. There's nothing you drink that's black. Mountain Dew Blackout. Remember that? Mountain Dew Blackout is exactly what I wanted you to bring up. I have a lot to say about it. Okay, let's go. It was good and I want it back. Yeah, they should bring that one back. They've got too many other weird flavors going on right now. Me and the boys doing a rolling blackout tonight. Putting Molly's in our Mountain Dew Blackouts. <laughs> Call that a rolling black oh, That's a good one. Dragon's blood. This is what I picture dragon's blood looking like. Three, two, one. Single ladies. Thump shit. ESTG. This is When the Party's Over by Billie Eilish. Oh, what could all this symbology mean? I don't know. What happens in this music video? I guess we'll see. 
another slow pan out. <laughs> All of these have been slow pan, black and white slow pan out. <laughs> it is like a, a trademark of a new music video. Yeah. The cinematic pan out. You know, I haven't learned much in life, but I have learned one thing. What's that? If you want to be able to afford a Keurig, you got to get your cake up. Cake cups. Yeah. There he goes. He's going dumb. All right, uh, let's keep it going. Yeah. This is a person that turned into water. What is this? Oh boy. Well, huh. it looks like it's in Chicago. Oh, that looks like Chicago to you? I'm a master geo guesser. This is kind of interesting. You know, it's an evolutionary race that's going on between the duck vagina and the duck penis. Oh, really? Throughout all of time of existence of ducks, the duck vagina has been trying to de design itself to not allow the male duck's penis to enter it. Why? I don't know. Overpopulation? Overpopulation, maybe they don't like the mallards. Maybe the mallards are mean. Right. And they don't pay for dinner and stuff like that. Okay. So the duck vagina has designed itself in a corkscrew-like fashion. Really? And the duck's penis enters soft, and when it gets hard, it- <laughs> It corkscrews it in. It corkscrews <laughs> in. And it's an evolutionary race. It didn't used to always be this hard and they've designed themselves for a massive challenge. And it's gotten to the point where it enters soft and then... I mean, that's incredible stuff. It really is. There's a whole... I'll send you the article. Okay, It's thanks. a great read. Yeah. A really, really good read. The complex future of duck fucking. Three, two, one. Put Famous Dex, hit him with it. I put Ransom by Lil Tecca. This is dog food by IDK and Denzel Curry. Mm. I know what I'm having for dinner now. <laughs> dog food? <laughs> yeah, tacos. Oh, okay. Yeah. December, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be cold. Yeah, we both thought it was a lyrical lemonade thing. Yeah. Because he does that often. He'll like paint over the frames right. or whatever. And yeah. it did be looking like Chicago to me. Next one we have. Oh, we've got somebody in like a little tiny <laughs> cowboy hat <laughs> standing in front of an elevator. Those little hats are really funny. Now this is unusual. On the sides of the elevator, it says either AS or RS. Is that a clue? Because that doesn't seem like it would be an actual name of a floor. To me, it looks like 85. There's no bottom rung on that. So it's either RS. It could be A5. Oh yeah, A5. A5, okay. I believe that's a grade for a Wagyu steak. Oh really? So it could be a, this could be a restaurant where you go to certain floors to access the food you'd like. So what? like <laughs> you have burger level, you have a burger level. It's kind of up top. It's not not that expensive uh -huh. and you pay to go deeper into the restaurant until you eventually reach the A5 Wagyu steak floor where you get to kill the cow yourself and eat it. I love your imagination, but I just highly doubt that this is a floor tiered restaurant based on how good the food is. Or... <laughs> it doesn't seem, it's not ridiculous. <laughs> it, I mean, it sure is, but your waitress is like, would you like some dessert? And you're like, yeah, I think we would. And they're like, all right, floor B5 for, <laughs> for dessert. <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Say So by Doja Cat. I put Curse of the Black and Die by Orville Peck. This is Working for the Knife by Mitski. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, man. I love this music video, yeah, too. Yeah, I was gonna say, you should've known it. Shoot. It's a good frame choice, though, because it doesn't show, like, the actual set. P3 is the next floor. Three pancakes. <laughs> Three. It's a short stack. <laughs> yep, okay, yeah. It's gotcha. a short stack. Uh -huh. That makes sense. All right, next one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now we're inside. <laughs> we're finally in the steak zone. <laughs> is this Wagyu steak? No. It doesn't no, like that's a New York. Smell. That's probably that's just her plain Jane filet mignon. Oh, it's rare though. Very rare. Very rare. Still bleeding. I didn't know that you didn't know that. I knew we know that we did know. Now it's time that we all know that you know I know. It's an old song we used to sing on the farm. I didn't know that you didn't know now. We don't know that I don't know now. Everybody knows that I just know that we know that I know. <laughs> That's a cool one. I yeah, like that thanks. One. Really? I like your culture, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. I put Cooped Up by Post Malone. I put I Feel Funny, Justin Biebs. This is Call My Bluff by Pusha T. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think I've seen this music video. Really? No. He would be eating steak, like real gangster style. We learn from the wizards and Papa Ron's. Everything don't need to be addressed. On time like an Amazon truck. Who wins in a steak eating contest, you or Pusha T? I know you can put down some steak. You put down that 72 ounce T-bone when we were in Texas that one time. That's you got true. it for free. I did do that. that. You won that muscle tea. So a high stakes eating competition between <laughs> Pusha T and I. I got you all day. Yeah, depends how hungry I am. 
Because if I'm super high, because it is a high stakes eating competition, mm. competition, I probably won't be that hungry. But Pusha T seems like someone who could hold his own no matter what, huh? Your appetite isn't much on a ton of cocaine though. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. it kind of uh -huh. shrinks your belly. Shoot, this depends on the day. Depends on the day? Depends on the day. Yeah. Next Wednesday? Next Wednesday, <laughs> I got me. It's all me. <laughs> Yeah. Let's go. Let's get into the last one. Oh. Aww. What is that? It's a man sleeping with a dog. That's a dog? Yeah, it's a little tiny little dog. Looks like a bunch of bullshit to me. <laughs> what do you mean? That looks like a bunch of bullshit. That doesn't look like a dog. What's wrong with you? That looks like a bunch of bullshit. What is this, Grant? You love dogs. Doesn't look like no dog I've ever seen. So it looks like a bunch of bullshit? <laughs> that looks like some movie magic animatronic bullshit. That's not a real dog. That's and they're taking definitely. jobs from real dogs. It's definitely a real dog. You ever seen the line for dog auditions? It's around the block. Dogs want to work in movies. And here we are putting a bunch of bullshit in them <laughs> instead of the real deal. I just don't see the logic here, but sure. Is this Paul Mescal? <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, one. Savior Complex, Phoebe Bridgers. Juggernaut, Tyler Creator. It is Savior Complex by Phoebe Bridgers. Is that who you thought it, it was? It is Paul Mescal, who she's now engaged to. Oh my god, she put her hubby in the MV. But I think this is before... <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. I, I'm pretty sure this is before they were dating. I think this is how they made they met. Cause he po he like was posting her music all the time, and he's on that show that's like really popular, and that's how they met. Was that she, he ended up being in her music video. She met her hubby on the MV set. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so romantic. <laughs> I will say that dog could be a bunch of BS because it's not her dog. Because her dog could have been in the music video and probably wanted to be. Isn't her dog a pug? I think so. He yeah. has a little black pug. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah, pugs are way better than that bunk that bullshit. Okay. I'd marry him too after I saw those acting chops. Who doesn't love a hunk with a dog? Even if it is animatronic. All right, seven to four final score. If you got some funky frames you want to see show up in this game next time, send them over to DJ Grant. His Instagram is linked in the description. Along with all of the other stuff, but most importantly, tickets for our show, June 4th. The lineup is announced right now. Go buy a ticket. It's going to be amazing. We'll see you there. Other than that, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning. And Diggy, would you like to leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? A sailor who sets out to explore the high seas and never returns is not lost. He found what he wanted. All right, this has been I'm TV. We love you, we appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Double salute. Cyanide in my bloodstream to ride on the great comet with all my family. Together <clears throat> in infinity, we shall fuck till the stars explode. <laughs> Daddy needed a little coffee time.